Welcome to my repair video. Um, today we have a White Knight tumble dryer. Uh, we've had it quite a few years and it's refusing to work. Basically the drum will not rotate when we engage the power button. Basically, turn the power button on and all we hear is a humming noise. So the first thing to do is check the drum will rotate freely. So we can turn the drum quite easily, manually. So that should be good. And what we're going to do is remove the back of the tumble dryer so we're going to start with these three screws to remove the top of the tumble dryer not the back as I previously mentioned can now see the drum and we can check the belt is intact by manually rotating it. So with the power engaged to the tumble dryer I'm going to give it a gentle push and we find the tumble dryer is indeed rotating as it should. So what we're going to do is replace the starting capacitor so we'll refit the top so we've now laid the machine on its side and what we're going to do is remove this hatch here but before we do that we're going to unplug the tumble dryer from the mains and then I'm actually going to switch it on even though it's unplugged the idea being it'll put some load on the starting capacitor and discharge it but there is an additional step which I'll get to in a minute So we remove this plate here, which will show us the starting capacitor. You see the capacitor is in there, it's the, the can there. So do make sure that your machine is unplugged before you go in here. We need to work safely. So next stage is to short the capacitor using a screwdriver you can see I'm holding on to the insulated part of the screwdriver so we've got his machine unplugged be careful and we just go across both terminals and that should be sufficient then we'll need a 13 mil spanner to unscrew the capacitor There is actually a nut behind there, it's quite deep, so you're not going to see me do it with this particular model. So we've got the capacitor free from the, the body of the machine just by unscrewing this nut. And hopefully you can see there are pairs of connections. So we have a replacement starting capacitor here and uh, when I ordered this I had to match the value of 8 microfarads as you can see there 8 microfarads P 
pick one with the same value it doesn't have to be the same and this is the replacement part so as you can see there are common pairs of connectors so we're going to copy that across uh, there's no polarity to worry about as far as I can see it would be an electrolytic capacitor if it were polarised so now I've got everything unplugged I can safely do it fiddly check that the push right down a few of them have wriggled off because that's quite fiddly to do and then we'll refit the capacitor to the tumble dryer body uh, I'm going to put the shake proof washer behind the steel fixing and just screw the nut to the steel Okay, we have our starting capacitor secured in place. I've just moved the camera inside so you get a, a better view. And just check all your connections are exactly where you left them. So now we'll refit the cover before we get to the moment of truth. It's quite easy to source the replacement capacitor. Uh, well known auction site. Had quite a few available to purchase. So, managed to procure it for £4.99. So, if your tumble dryer isn't rotating, um, you do know, you now know that, that you can get a replacement capacitor for a relatively small cost. Uh, assuming it has that fault. But this tumble dryer certainly served as well over the years. It pays to repair things where possible. So we'll put the tumble dryer on its leg, on its feet, and give it a test. Okay, we now have the tumble dryer in its correct place. And we're working. I'm really pleased about that. That was a, a good £5 repair. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more repair videos.